Hello everyone, my name is Miss and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Today we are going to be playing on Pirate and Mithras Classic Mode route, Shared Destinies. And for this route, it references the fact that Pyra and Mithra share a body. The Aegis' route primarily features pairs of opponents who are canonically clones, or at the very least similar. This extends to the final boss at the end who are always fought together regardless of intensity. That should probably tell you who the final boss is. And all the items that spawn from the franchise the characters are from, or in the case of round 4, no items. So, let's get started. I'm also going to be alternating between Pyra and Mithra throughout all these stages. So I'll start with Pyra, then the next battle will be with Mithra. So, our first battle is going to be against Zelda and Sheik on the battlefield form of Temple. Which, in terms of the items, this also means that our items will be will be Legend of Zelda items. Also, the also when it comes to Pyra and Mithra, Pyra is more power while while Mithra is more speed. Also, as you can see, there's a boomerang on the stage and it just says that the items are similar to the series. They don't have to be from the series. So, for that battle, it was a reference to Pyra and Mithra's ability to swap being akin to Zelda and Sheik's ability to, tr to transform in melee and brawl. So, our next battle is going to be Samus and Dark Samus on Frigate Orpheon. Let's change to Mithra for this battle. Because like I said, I'm going to alternate between them. So, I'm so in the next battle, I will go back to Pyra. Ah! I'm learning very quickly I'm not good with Pyra or Mithra. Please die. Of course she's not dead. Get out of here. No! I don't like the fact that these two are not hurting each other. Please, they're not dead. Because of course, why wouldn't they be? Why would they be dead? Ah! Now get the hell off! Seriously? Also, smart bombs are the only mm, items that are spawning. What the f? Is there like no other items that represent? Metroid in some way, shape, way, in some way. Ow! I can't do Jack! Well, that takes care of Dark. What the hell game? Look at their damage! This stage is either too big or Mithra can't kill people. And if the set, okay, Dark Samus is dead, so it's probably just how big this damn stage is. All right. So next up, we have Pit and Dark Pit on reset bomb forest. I'm back to Pyra for this battle. And there goes Dark Pit. Really? Pit, really? You had to jump over? Whatever. I only have you left, so you can't really hide from... Stop! I'm really getting tired of your crap! So, our next battle going back to Mithra is going to be Ryu and Ken on the Omega form of Suzuku Castle. This is also a stamina battle where we each have uh, 150 HP. So, Mithra. So, so, taking too long to kill people won't be that big of an issue although I don't like the fact that 
the, the CPU fires will not go against each other because they're just pulling up between me and freaking comboing me. I'm being bomb rushed by computer players and it does not feel good. Oh my god, there was nothing I could do! Continue. There's literally nothing I can do in that situation. Game, I would appreciate it if you would attack in the... in the... where I'm pointing the control stick. They're just doing the same goddamn move over and over again! This is not a fun battle. This is why people. The, this is why I love the Street Fighter community is toxic. It's because of using the same move over and over again. Okay, that takes care of Ryu and Ken. So our next battle, playing as Pyra, is going to be. Kirby and Man Knight on the battlefield form of the Great Cave Offensive. Ready? I have no clue why a lot of these forms, why a lot of these stages are using the Omega or battlefield forms. Okay, stop it! I'm being bum rushed here too! Well, that, that managed to kill both of them at least. So our next battle, playing as Mithra, is going to be Link and Dark Link on the Omega Former Fountain of Dreams. The reason Fountain of Dreams is used, I will explain after both of these guys are dead. Oh my god! This is probably the most annoying when it comes to when it comes to characters just going after you. Because these computer players are relentless when it comes to not hurting each other. Even though they're two different even though they're two completely different entities in their games, and most of the time fight each other in their respective franchises. What the? Oh, please, oh my god, really? Please die. Of course you're not dead. Cause I can't make things! I can't! Oh my god, screw you game! Continue. Seriously! Cause I was jumping! It was- No, I didn't mean to do that! I was trying to be a Mithra! I did not press the button the second time! So, stage choice is a reference to the mid-boss room in the Water Temple where Link fights Dark Link and the Legends of the Ocarina of Time. Okay, I will admit- I did change the Pyra on accident, by com by immediately switched back to Mithra, but then for some reason I said I switched the Pyra again when I didn't even press the button the third time. So I don't even know what. So I don't even know why I decided to. So I don't even know why I decided to go back to Pyra for a second time when I only pressed the. Button the one once to switch back to Mithra. It makes no sense to me. That's gonna end up annoying me because of the because of the pattern being messed up now. Complete. And that's gonna be a huge problem for me. Up next is Master Hand and Crazy Hand on Final Destination. 
And the thing is, I don't like to re-record videos unless I absolutely have to. So I can't just read do the whole entire video and I know to you guys that might seem crazy but if you dealt with the same crap I do on a daily basis you would feel the same way also yeah I was always gonna use Pyra for the battle and would only switch to Mithra once I've died as Pyra. That's what I decided to do for the final boss. And there goes Master Hand. And down goes Crazy Hand. Also, there was no reference for that boss fight in particular so we only have the credits for Pyra and Mithra also when it comes to the credits theme Pyra and Mithra no matter which character you use they both have the same credits theme so it doesn't really matter who you play as for it and it looks like I'm using Pyra so, Pyra and Mithra's credit steam is Xenoblade Chronicles 2 medley, which is exactly what it is. A medley of songs from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Because Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the game Pyra and Mithra come from. It's kind of funny because back when Pyra and Mithra were announced as DLC fighters, Chugga Conroy was in the middle of his Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Let's Play. And the Nintendo Direct that announced this was going to go live at the same exact time that an episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 would have been uploaded. So Chugga Conroy actually skipped a day of uploading Xenoblade Chronicles 2 so we could watch the Nintendo Direct, I was actually walking back from swim practice at the time of this Direct going live. Cause I, I, cause I do remember doing that. And the first thing that comes up is about Pyra and Mithra being, being brought into Smash Bros. And Sugar Conroy even made a joke saying that how funny it would be if Pi if one of the characters from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 made it as a DLC character the same exact time he does the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Let's Play. And lo and behold, while he's doing the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Let's Play, Pyra and Mithra are introduced as playable characters. That's just something that I remember about Pyra and Mithra's inclusion. And all this time, I was thinking that Travis Touchdown would be a perfect addition to Super Smash Bros. Considering No More Heroes 3 was being released on for the Switch at some point. It would have been a good adver advertising tool because not... Because a lot of grown-ups play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well. And even though No More Heroes is, a, is not a kid-friendly franchise... Their game franchise represented they're not kid friendly in this game as well. So for their congratulations we have Mithra and Pyra. I'm gonna guess that Spiral Mountain in Rex because that of the taunt. It's just weird because I don't know what that stage is. I think it's Spiral Mountain. So our spheres we get Eggplant Man. I have no clue where that's from. It's probably either Kid Icarus, the original Kid Icarus or the original Ice Climber. One of the two. But anyways, that is it for Pyra and Mithra's Classic Mode Route. On Wednesday, we'll be doing Kazuya's Classic Mode Route, Fighting Fists with Fists. But until then, my name is Mr. and I will see you all next time. Take care.